Blockchain is mainly known as the father of cryptocurrencies, but did you know we can use this technology to protect the smart grid against cyber attacks? In this clip, the learning objectives are to understand what blockchain is and its key features, explain how it can be used to mitigate IoT-based cyber attacks, and discuss the challenges of integrating it with IoT and smart grids. So first, let's have a crash course in blockchain. Blockchain is defined as a digital distributed ledger with an immutable record of a complete transaction history to subsequently linked blocks of chronologically ordered transactions. The keyword here is distributed. In a centralized structure, everything is controlled in a single point. The opposite is a decentralized network where all nodes make their own decision. This is how Bitcoin and Ethereum work. Finally, there is a distributed infrastructure where the decision-making is spread across multiple points, but some decisions can still be made locally. Although the idea behind blockchain was first introduced in the early 90s, it was only in 2008 that blockchain was conceptualized when Satoshi Nakamoto developed Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system based on a shared public ledger that records all transactions without the need of a trusted third party. Blockchain is considered secure because of three main properties. Firstly, it ensures the authenticity and integrity of all transactions by using digital signatures. Secondly, it guarantees immutability with hash functions used to link all blocks within the chain. Finally, because each node needs to keep a replica of the shared ledger, it is essential to ensure that all peers agree on the same chain. This is achieved through the consensus algorithm. Now that we have seen the basics of blockchain, let us see why we need it in the power grid. The power system can be divided into three main levels, generation, transmission, and distribution. Each of these levels is vulnerable to a wide range of cyber attacks. For instance, the aura vulnerability was a demonstration of a cyber attack targeting the generation system. The goal of such attacks is to disconnect generators long enough from the network to lose the synchronism. Then, reconnecting them later to the network will cause them to heat up and explode. On the transmission level, you may recall the Ukrainian cyber attack, where hackers activated a destructive malware called KillDisk, wiping parts of the computer's hard drives, thus preventing the systems from rebooting. This ultimately resulted in a power outage. Finally, with the proliferation of distributed energy resources, electric vehicles, and other IoT-enabled smart appliances, the attack surface has grown at the distribution and consumer level of the grid. These smart-connected components can be used as a botnet to launch a coordinated manipulation of demand attack, which can affect the stability of the grid and cause local power outages. So what can we do about this? We can use blockchain to guarantee the required level of security and visibility that will protect the edge of the grid from being used as an attack vector. Combining IoT with blockchain would provide an additional security layer that offers strong authentication and authorization mechanisms. Moreover, it would ensure integrity and reliability, as well as data availability, by leveraging the distributed nature of blockchain. In short, it allows protecting the IoT data from being tampered with. Now let us look at different scenarios where blockchain was applied to guarantee security at the edge of the smart grid. We will discuss two prominent use cases. The first one is protection systems in microgrids. The second ensures data integrity in IoT home appliances. So let's start with the protection. The idea here is to use blockchain with differential protection relays within microgrids. Differential relays are designed to only react in case of internal faults. In this figure, the relay would only trip for faults at loads 1, 2, and 3, and ignores faults at A and B. This is done by measuring the currents at bus bars 1 and 2. If an attacker injects false data using SV and Goose messages, the relay trips because it thinks there is an internal fault. However, if there is a blockchain system as backup, it would detect that the data was compromised and communicate this to the relay. The result is that the relay does not trip. Another application is to use blockchain to protect the data collected with IoT-enabled smart meters. The cyber layer of the grid can be divided as follows. There is a user, edge, fog, and cloud tier as depicted here. The end users are the IoT-enabled smart appliances and distributed energy resources in the hub area network. The edge tier consists of the smart meters in the neighborhood area network, 
One level up, there is the FOG tier representing the field or wide area network where metering data is going to be aggregated. Finally, there is the cloud tier presented by the utilities data center. Each layer has its own blockchain structure to keep an immutable record of all energy transactions, where dependent on the layer, some devices would keep a ledger containing only a subset of all data, while others would have a complete view. In case an attacker were to perform an implementation of demand via IoT attack, the shared ledger would enable tracing back its route, thus preventing future attacks, assuming that the smart meter and devices are not compromised. Even though the integration of the Internet of Things and blockchain could play a significant role in the transition to distributed yet secure and reliable smart grids, some challenges still need to be addressed. Firstly, IoT devices are highly constrained in terms of their storage and computational capabilities, hindering their applicability with blockchain. Thus, designing lightweight mechanisms is crucial. Secondly, IoT devices and blockchain platforms are not designed to be directly interoperable, as both have heterogeneous protocols and mechanisms. Without proper standardization, this would lead to fragmented systems. Thirdly, most IoT devices are manufactured with limited attention paid to their security aspect. As a result, these devices may contain various vulnerabilities, which would also be inherited by the grid, thus opening new backdoors for attackers. Lastly, there is a privacy concern to use in blockchain, as currently, these systems only offer pseudo-anonymity. If these, this technology were used for energy consumption management, sensitive data such as locations or real identities could be traced and exposed. Blockchain has been leveraged so far in a myriad of ways. However, most of the research outputs or industrial initiatives proposed so far fall within peer-to-peer -peer energy trading models. Nonetheless, it is legitimate to ask whether it's possible to move beyond that and focus on the cybersecurity aspect that blockchain could offer. This includes security firmware updates, isolation of compromised devices, or it can also serve as an immutable ledger that would record and log all activities within the power grid, serving as the baseline for monitoring. Because how can we tell that something is wrong if we don't have an immutable baseline that can tell us what's right? And finally, Beyond the hype over blockchain, it's worth stressing that although the technology offers a wide range of opportunities to enhance the cyber resilience of power systems, it is neither a replacement for conventional measures nor the solution to all problems. Suppose, for instance, the grid's network is not configured properly. This means that access rules are not correctly set and firewalls and VPNs are poorly managed, or certain companies may have weak or preset credentials, which is most likely to be the case for IoT devices. In both cases, blockchain will not magically protect the system from being hacked. Thus, it is crucial to understand the limits and opportunities for the technology. To summarize, today we have seen that blockchain is a digital and distributed ledger that can be used to ensure data authenticity, integrity, and immutability. The IoT devices are becoming more ubiquitous in power systems, increasing the likelihood of cyber attacks at the edge of the grid and that combining IoT with blockchain can help to mitigate some of these risks. We have discussed two blockchain applications in the power grid, both ensuring that the received data is reliable. Finally, we have discussed the main challenges of the integration of blockchain and IoT, ranging from limited computation possibilities to inherent vulnerabilities by design. And although there is a chain of challenges to overcome in our road ahead, we are already moving in the right direction, block by block.